A fire has damaged much to much of Hampshire Finette's elementary school, and investigators are busy trying to determine what it caused it. Fox 4's Justin Hinton is live outside the school with tonight's top story. Justin, have they gotten any further in their investigation? You know, Greg, they really haven't. They left this afternoon at about 6 o'clock, and really all they could do was survey the building from the outside. We can actually still smell some of those fumes coming from that building, and that, in addition to the condition of the building, prevented them from going inside. But all they do know is that there was a fire that started early this morning. Tuesday morning. And Hampshire Finette Elementary School goes up in flames. It didn't take 15, 20 minutes, and it was chaos out in front of my house. As fire truck after fire truck responds. By the time the sun rose, investigators were on the scene trying to figure out its cause. The Texas Fire Marshal's Office, ATF, and a number of local agencies working together to first secure the building as teachers and former students capture a building no longer recognizable. It looks bad when I look at it. It affects everybody because everybody's once been here and they think they've been through the experience coming here. Hopefully we will get a new school, but uh, I'm sad to see this one go. Investigators spent the day working out a plan of attack, meeting, surveying, and doing all they could from the outside. The building deemed too dangerous to go inside until they can return tomorrow and start piecing together what led to so much destruction. And when they do come back tomorrow, one of the first things that they will do is get together again and kind of rehash that plan that they came up with today. They'll be able to use some of the heavy equipment to be able to get inside that building, but of course they will survey it first to make sure that it is safe to go inside. For now, it is blocked off and nobody will be allowed to go on. We are live in Jefferson County tonight. Justin Hinton, Fox 4 News.